Meantime, fitness trackers probably got one. They take countless measurements on millions of people every day. Now, we know what they are telling us, but the question is, what can they be telling us? In today's search for solutions, a team of scientists at Stanford University wants to know if those Fitbits can be used to predict, predict not just if you're getting healthy, but if you're getting sick. There are tens of millions of them out there. Fitbits, Apple Watches, Garmin's, keeping track of your steps, your heart rate, your body temperature. To you, it's a workout tool. To a scientist, it's an answer that just needs the right question. I'm wearing three rings, three smartwatches right now, and this ring is a sensor as well. Dr. Michael Snyder is a professor of genetics at Stanford University, whose obvious affinity for fitness led to what could be groundbreaking work in health. Everybody's just using this fitness trackers. We said, well, these are really good physiological monitors. We should really be following them for people's health. Dr. Snyder discovered that among the millions of measurements they make every day, subtle variances in a Fitbit's data could be a predictor of an oncoming illness. When you get ill, a lot of these things go off, like your heart rate goes up, your skin temperature goes up. And it turns out these things go up, we think, before you actually realize it, before you're congested and stuff. And in today's coronavirus climate, being ahead of a sickness could mean the difference between life and death. Even if we can't tell if it's COVID-19 versus a common cold, that still seems pretty important. But even if we can just tell you're getting sick, in the midst of a pandemic, that's useful. But to make that possible, massive amounts of biometric data provided by thousands of volunteers will need to be broken down and hopefully turned into an accurate predictor of an oncoming illness. It's work that's being done right now, and Dr. Snyder is pushing the number crunching. Uh, believe it or not, we want to have an impact right now if we can. We think we can get these algorithms trained very, very quickly in a week or two. Creating a warning system, not just for the crisis we're facing now, but for years to come. The overall goal is to help human health. So if you are one of the tens of millions who use a, a fitness tracker, like a, a smartwatch here, uh, or an Apple watch, uh, it doesn't really matter what kind you use, uh, and you do want to be a part of this study, we have set up a link for you on our website, fox35orlando.com. There you will find plenty of uh, other search for solution stories as well. All right.